All right, today's rehab exercise is the BOSU side step, and we're going to incorporate the side step and the side jump. And these are really, really good exercises for a sort of advanced level knee rehab. We use it in our ACL rehab program. Uh, and I'm going to show you today exactly what I want you to do and little tips what I want you to do. Now, make sure that you've got good knee control and good glute control. So these not, it's not an entry level exercise, it's not a learner exercise. You've got to make sure you've got to be able to stabilize on one leg. You've got to have a good VMO and good hip control, as well as good core control to make sure when you land, your knee doesn't go into internal rotation on valgus. So I'll show what I mean. When I, I'm going to step on this. Now, both of are great because they give you a wobbly surface. Um, when you step on it, I want you aiming for about three quarters up, not on the top here, and definitely not down the bottom. Because if you land down the bottom here, you're going to roll your ankle in, and that's going to roll your knee in. If you land on the top here, it's going to roll your ankle outwards, which can cause your ankle pain, or you actually roll your ankle. So it's about three quarters up, because when I land on this, I'm going to step on an ankle. Right, so when I go into a squat, this knee is going to stay in line from my hip through to my foot. I can't let that knee roll in and go into like a valgus or internally rotated position. So it needs to be in this position, hence I want to be three pullers up and my foot needs to be stable. So I'm going to squat in that position, step on and step off. Now, common mistakes are you step on and then sort of hold it there and then just fall off. Okay? You've got to squat on and squat off, not just squat on and step off, right? So it's a squat on and it's a squat off. Now you notice my knee didn't roll in. So when it looks bad, you sort of, you're doing this sort of thing, okay? Which is really bad for knee ligaments and meniscus and things like that. So you've got to make sure you've got that control first in other exercises that are less intense to make sure you've got that control in doing that exercise. Right. So that's the step on. Now to advance that, we're going to land on it. Okay? And the first one is sticking the jump. So being able to land like that. Okay? So you're landing, sticking the jump. And you'll notice that I'm not landing and coming up over here. Right? I'm landing and my body is on the other side of my legs. So my legs are out at an angle, but I'm still trying to maintain that, not rolling it in. So I need to land my foot wider than my body, like that, okay? So landing, pushing off. Now this is soft impact for this thing, so if this was the injured leg, that's a soft impact and control work. If I was landing the other way, okay, so if I'm going this way, that's a hard impact here, and I'm not on an angle here. So on the BOSU, I'm on an angle, when I land on the ground, I'm on less of an angle because I'm stopping. So that's called sticking the jump. So I'm on an angle here and less of an angle there. See, I'm standing more upright. Right? So you have to be good at that control as well on the impact. So when you start on this, when we start our ACL people early, we've got to make sure that the impact is quite light. And as you build, you get faster and faster and faster until you get into the point where you're actually pushing off and landing at the same time. It's really helpful, I've got a mirror in front of me which you can't see, but it's really helpful for me to look at the mirror so I can see what my form is doing. I can look at the bow, so I can look at the mirror and I can check it out. So I'll be going from here. So I'm spending the same amount of time left and right, and now I've got my angles. Be careful that that bow doesn't move too much, so it can't be too slippery surface. All right, 